Demon families, John Hurl, proud principal of Durango High School here with another principal message for you. Wanted to follow up one of our previous messages where we talked about being ranked as a, a top public school in the state of Colorado. That is one of our visions, is, is to become the top public school in the state of Colorado. And one of the ways that we do that is through our performance on our AP exams, our advanced placement exams. Behind me we've got a banner showing the accomplishments of our students from last year and it has grown significantly from the year before. Um, at the very top you'll see we have National AP Scholars. Those are students who have taken eight or more AP exams and scored a four or higher on all of those and have an average of a four or higher, which is pretty remarkable. The year before we only had one, this year we had seven. Uh, so we're well on our way trying to accomplish that task. The mission that we have for our school is excellence achieved through high expectations and positive relationships for all. That's for our students, our staff, and our community members. And one of the ways that we're trying to achieve those high expectations is to change our grading system a little bit this year. And you may have heard from your students about this already. Really what we're trying to do is create more ownership for our kids to show proficiency that they truly understand the material. We've had some feedback from some students that have gone on to college and pursue some other post-secondary options where they didn't feel like they were quite as prepared as they could have been uh, to be successful at that next step. So we're really focusing more on a summative exam this year where students can show what they know. Um, not really just necessarily about how to play the school game and turn things in. So 10% of our grade is going to be a formative assessment. Those are things like classwork, exit tickets, um, some homework that they may have. We have 5% of our grade which is based upon character, uh, character traits that they exhibit in the classroom. We have 20% of our grade which is going to be our final exam, that cumulative thing at the end of the semester to show all the knowledge that they've gained over the course of the semester. And then 65% of the grade this year is going to be a summative assessment. Those are things like unit exams, lab reports, uh, essays, those type of things where they're, they're larger scale and kind of built upon each other. And really gives an opportunity for students to show that they've learned the learning targets and the performance indicators to try and demonstrate that proficiency. We're excited about the opportunities that this is going to be, be providing for our students. They are going to have multiple opportunities to show what they know on these different learning targets and I think that's going to be important for our kids moving forward to have success not only on things like advanced placement but in their regular classes, concurrent enrollment classes and help prepare them to be successful when they move on to the next level wherever that may be. Uh, hope that gives you a little bit more insight to some of the changes that we've made this year. We're excited for a 2019-2020 school year and our graduating class of 2020 and it's going to be a great year. If you have any questions please let me know and uh, we'll be communicating more uh, throughout the year. Have a great evening. Go Demons!